It finally feels back to normal, and I, I think that's the biggest thing. I think once football rolls around, it's going to be pretty much all rolling, and then right into basketball season, so I'm excited. How's practice been going for this summer? Yeah, really good. I mean, a lot of the focus has been on defense, and I think we all know that's the biggest area we need to improve on, so just coming in every single day and getting better at that. Um, made some technical changes there, and just kind of adjusting because even the returners have to learn the new techniques and whatnot. So that's definitely our biggest focus. And then obviously just getting the newcomers here has been really, really well. And I thought they've adjusted really well as well. Obviously last year you had uh, tons of success under Coach Oriad. And so as a team getting that far, is that something you expected going into the season? Did that exceed your expectations for both yourself and leading Yeah, that team? I mean, I never expect to lose or anything. I mean, I expect to win every single game. Um, I, I want to be undefeated every single year. So um, I think... In our locker room, we believed that we could do what we did, and I think it, it was a process. We had to put all those pieces together. We were a young team, um, so I think you kind of saw a few rough patches at the beginning of the year, but by the end of the year, we put it all together at the right time and, and made a run. But next year, we only want more. We don't want to settle for the Sweet 16. It's obviously a big day today. You've been one of the proponents um, for, for this change. What was it like waking up today, knowing that college athletics is yeah. a completely different world as of midnight? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely strange in a way. That, I mean, this is uncharted waters for everybody. So there's a lot of questions and not many answers, I always say. And um, it's going to be like that for a while, but it's definitely exciting. I'm, I'm really happy for all student athletes. I think it's, it's a right that we should have had for a really long time. So um, it's exciting. I, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I know you have in your Twitter bio, business inquiries, email. Yeah. I get it's only the first day, but, you know, you're such a popular, uh, you know, person here at this university in the state. Yeah. Has anyone reached out yet? Do you have any plans to actually capitalize yeah. on this Yeah, I mean, I've, I honestly don't have access to that email. I have, like, people that do it for me, so I honestly don't really know. I know there's have been some emails. I've got quite a few DMs and whatnot on Twitter and Instagram, so um, I'm definitely not in a rush to sign anything or do anything. Just kind of feel out my options is kind of the route I'm going right now and, and see how that plays out. So, I mean, we got plenty of time. It's not going anywhere. So kind of just feel it out is the route I'm going right now. You're not taking the Jordan route? And then no, I, I'm not. Follow 1 I, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, I'm sure he was up on that. I'm sure he didn't sleep last night, as did a lot of kids. Like, I went on Instagram and I saw these two twins had already partnered with, like, some cell company or something so i mean a lot of people sign deals right at midnight but honestly i was sound asleep getting good <laughs> night's rest for practice this morning so um but no i mean it's definitely something i've been working on i have people that work with me on it so um definitely something i'm looking forward to and it's really exciting and i'm happy that it's finally here how do you think you'll go about um partnering with this whether it's a product whether it's a company like you said you have a team kind yeah. of with you that's going through yeah. this stuff what do you value you know do you like local stuff in the state of Iowa? Yeah. Are you interested in getting into national stuff? Yeah, I think both. Um, obviously local. I'm, I'm an Iowa kid, so that's like kind of who I am. I'm a local kid. I came to the University of Iowa just because I, lo I love our home state. I love this program. And that's one of the main reasons I came here. So um, I think both, but I think at the same time kind of just feeling out what's best for me. I don't think I'm going to go the route. I'm going to say yes to every single person. I don't think I'm going to be like that. Um, so just seeing what's best for me. You can't say, best, say yes to everybody. Um, kind of find what aligns with who you are and and say yes to those people. Caitlin, back to basketball. What are you guys working on here in kind of the dog days of July? What are you working on individually as a team? What are you guys kind of focusing on? Yeah, I mean, obviously defense is the biggest thing for our team right now. Um, just coming in, getting better every day. Not individual one-on-one -on -one defense, but also team defense, I think is a huge focus for us right now. We made some changes. The coaches went back and watched a ton of film from last year. Uh, watched a lot of film from other teams that were super successful in their defensive game plans. So. Um, kind of combining those two and then coming in and changing those things. And then offensively, it's been a lot of really individual skill development um, with your position coach and just working on things that they see that you can improve on. So um, I really enjoy that. Just just getting better at my craft every single day, I think, is the biggest thing for me. Thanks, Caitlin. How about having Kylie back on the screen? Awesome. Well, I'll just get basketball with this for a second and I'll get out of here. Uh, so just kind of talk to me. How have uh, workouts been going, practices? What are you guys kind of been up to as a team? Yeah, um, I think practices have been really amazing this summer. The girls have been getting after it. The freshmen and the transfer coming in, Kylie, they've been doing amazing. Um, I'm just really proud of how hard we're working. I think that'll take us to the next step, and I'm excited for the next season. So, I would say after last season, you guys didn't really lose much. I mean, what's kind of the excitement hype level I mean, here around this team? It's definitely exciting. Um, we're not trying to take it too far, though, over our heads. We want to make sure we keep that steady hunger and that level of confidence, but not, not too confident. Um, but 
we are excited for the season and I think if we can just work as hard as possible and we can work and practice harder than we do in games, then the games will come easy for us. So. Has there been anything you've kind of focused on during this offseason, either yourself and kind of personal game or maybe as a team that you guys have kind of kind of buckled down and really looked at? Defense. Um, I feel like everyone on our team will tell you that. Uh, we definitely know offense, number one, number two in the nation. So defense, we need to get that there. And then I think we'll be able to do anything we want to if we can at least buckle down on defense then. I mean, how do you guys do this? Is it just kind of like drilling? Is it individual drills? Is it kind of one-on-one -on -one defense? I mean, how do, you, how do you get better at defense? We work a lot on closeouts, a lot of positioning, um, a lot of positioning. This summer it's been a little bit different, so our defensive style will be a little bit different. We also have been working a lot on just lateral movement and getting quicker, so we're able to get down and get tight and play good defense that way. Awesome. Thank you, Kenna. Yeah, thank you. different for you being a college coach on a day like today when the entire app, you know landscape of college sports is different now. yeah it, it's um, you know for me I'm I just came off practice so nothing changed right you know it's still business as usual for us and you know the things we just caution our, our team about is basketball and academics are first and foremost and if you're not good in those two areas nobody's gonna want your name image or likeness anyway so do the best you can on the floor off the floor and that'll probably make you a little bit more marketable you know I'm really proud of Iowa I think that we have, were so far ahead of this you know we had an hour work uh, w workshop yesterday with compliance and men's basketball to help prepare the women for this and they're just ready and, and I'm so proud of Iowa for for being this but I also think in recruiting we can be very marketable uh, in this community, as well as we draw, I think as far as recruiting, I think kids can make money here. And why not if they can? What was said in that meeting yesterday? What did you learn about um, this program? I mean, it was a lot of compliance kind of stuff. It was mm -hmm. kind of boring. I mean, not, the <laughs> meeting wasn't boring. I will say that. You would find it probably boring. It, it's how to, you know, like register for this. Like if you're going to have um, an opportunity to make money, they need to not get permission, but they need to make sure that everybody knows what's going on. So it's more like to make sure that they're not doing anything wrong NCAA-wise and still following Iowa policy. You added Kylie, obviously, from Iowa State. How has she been going with the team so far? Terrific. I mean, it feels like she was here the whole time. Now, part of that is because some of them played together in AU, so they knew each other. For example, she and Caitlin have been teammates for you know, quite some time. So it, that makes it a little bit easier when they come from the same AU program. Um, but she, it, it feels like it's a natural. It just feels like a natural fit. How are you managing expectations for this team? Obviously, you got a long way to go before the season actually starts. But even in that huddle, as a practice, you're calling your team a championship team, trying to reinforce that mentality in them. How are you going about, you know, dealing with expectations of most likely being a top 15, top 10, you know, preseason team? Yeah. Next year? I mean, we welcome that. We want that. We want people to be talking about us as a top 15 or 10 team in the country. Why not? Um, that's what you work really, really hard for. So don't shy away from it. Embrace it. Um, and we talk about it. Uh, we know the target's going to be on our back a little bit. We know we're still kind of young. Um, but there's just so much optimism surrounding this team. And we talk about it like we did at the end of practice today. You know, the championships, they don't begin in January, they begin today. They begin in June and July and, you know, hot, grinding, you know, practice sessions. That's when it all starts. What do you guys work on in those hot, grinding practice sessions? Is it defense, offense, a little bit of everything? Uh, mostly defense. Um, in fact, I don't think we worked on offense in our entire first two-hour, two practices. Um, we just, uh, we're really focused on defense. Everybody knows our offense is amazing. I mean, it is one of the very best in the country. When you lead the country in field goal percentage and three-point shooting, you're second in points scored, you're third in free throws, you're fourth in assists, everybody can tell where our weakness is, and the players know that. And so we are definitely spending time working on, on defense. Where, where is that? Is it scheme? Is it effort? What, uh, you know, what needs to improve? It's, it's both of those things. I mean, it's uh, definitely effort and, and a focus. And so they got the message loud and clear during those first two practices that we are going to spend a lot of effort and a lot of focus on this. And then there was also some schematic changes that we made. Um, and so I think that that's, we're trying to, you know, be obviously always learn as coaches. And so we did make some schematic changes that we think will help us. Last question. It's very rare that, you know, you return almost, you know, everybody that major, majorly contributed, you added Kylie. 
was in with normalcy basically coming back were you off to a faster start this off season as, as opposed to last off season do you think definitely a faster start because last season at this time we were doing chalk talks <laughs> you know last mm -hmm. season at this time i was trying to show them on videotape what our offense and defense looked like you know we only had i think four summer mm -hmm. workouts and today was already five or six and we're still going to have more so I definitely think that, you know, we're farther ahead. Plus, those kids coming back, you know, the, the more experience, the better. They know what to expect. They've had a year in our weight room. I mean, our strength coach, Lindsay Dinkelman, does an amazing job. But, you know, she can't really do that job when they come in here, walk in as freshmen. But now our mm -hmm. sophomores have had a year underneath her and uh, really have, have, I think, I see them stronger and, and, and more fit.